morning. I'm um, doing a quick video journal update on my journey with ALS. Um, so, uh, I haven't updated in a few weeks, but I went to the doctor February 27th and everything went okay. I mean, nothing crazy good or crazy bad, I guess, uh, except that we are moving forward with, excuse me, I need to put on lip gloss. Um, we are moving forward with the new medication, the infusion treatment, Radicava. Um, so we're in the process still of getting it through, for, through insurance and seeing if I can qualify for in-home um, health visits for it because if not, it's two hours a day for two weeks, I guess, and then off a week and then two hours a day for two weeks and then off a week. Uh, the scariest part I think about it is that they need to put a port in me to do the infusions, which is sort of scary. Uh, but at this point I'm willing to try just about anything to feel better. Um, the physical restrictions are pretty much the same. I mean, I have good days and bad days. My hand is the biggest issue. Like literally I can't do anything. <laughs> like this is me trying to straighten my fingers. Um, I've shown before, but like there's always muscle twitches like in through my whole body. And this week, weirdly, um, I had them in my abs, which I've never had. Usually it's arms and legs, but this week, like in my lower abdomen was like twitching like crazy. And I sort of noticed that the more sugar I eat, the worse the twitches are. So I guess I just sort of lay off the sugar. <laughs> um, the doctor also told me to start ingesting more calories because I have lost 14 pounds in the past two months. And I guess I don't notice it, but, um, it did happen and uh, he said that that can greatly accelerate the progression of this so I got some protein shakes and I am trying to eat more regularly I just don't have much of an appetite I've always been a very I don't know not picky eater so much but I don't eat regularly like I I don't I have to like force myself to eat there aren't times I'm like oh I'm so hungry so I don't know I'm just trying to Eat more I guess <laughs> and some people might think that that is something they wish their doctor would tell them because so many people have told me that well I can laugh at their response honestly not everyone wants to be skinny like I don't want to be skinny skinny I want to be skinny strong I feel skinny fat because I just don't have the strength behind any of it um, so that's that and then I am all moved into my house we got the electric fence installed, um, which is a game changer. Thank God for Pet Stop of Western New York. There's a little plug, guys, because uh, I was able to move my system from my mom's house to my house. She doesn't have a dog anymore. All they had to do was install the line, and the guy was a mate. John was his name. Was amazing in training Brody because um, I don't have the ability to walk around the yard with her. So now I open the door. She goes out and she plays and. We're enjoying it. She did chew my couch this week, my brand new couch. So she's still getting adjusted to her environment uh, change, but maybe she's just a bad dog. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Oh, this is, I guess, why I started blogging today. I had this like weird epiphany two days ago, and I can't really explain it. I mean, I guess I've also, I've sort of understood it this whole time, but I think, you know, Lou Gehrig, when he got diagnosed with this, said he was the luckiest man in the world. And I, I never really understood that statement from him, but I am eternally blessed because what a, what a blessing, I guess. I, I can't find the right word for it. But to understand and learn how to live while you're dying is like an extraordinary challenge, but extraordinarily enlightening. There are definitely things that I still take for granted. Of course, I mean, we all do. But learning to 
not take life for granted. Um, and like get this immense joy out of small things is major. You know, I didn't, I've been through a lot. We all have, we all have our fucking struggles. We all have our shit we deal with. Right. And, um, even with what I had dealt with up to the point of being diagnosed with ALS, I took a lot for granted in life. And, uh, and this, this thought just came to my mind. Like I, I feel blessed to be able to live, but understand that I'm dying at the same time. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Maybe it doesn't make sense to anyone, but it made sense to me. Um, and then I had heard the other day, and I mentioned this in a previous video, um, the I have to versus the I get to phrase. And I saw it in someone's journal the other day uh, where I was in a, this lady had in the front of it, I get to in quotes. And I try to practice that, but it's like I get those little signs, you know, when I need to see them because I was in a funk that day and it did change my perspective. And literally taking every single phrase and changing it from I have to to I get to is so life-changing for me at least. So I don't know, that's my update. I gotta go to work. So everyone have a great Friday. <laughs>